Hey guys, Carter here with another video. Let's talk about the Jungle Pets for Kindred. I'm going to show you the standard that I follow for like Jungle Pets on this champion and uh, help you better understand what to think about while going to the game. I'll also mention the competitive standard later on in this video for any amateur players or like in your clash games, etc. I also got the mini game for you guys to try to apply knowledge. I will give you at the end of the video. Uh, I did the same thing for the Kha'Zix Evolve video and it got very good feedback. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out on my YouTube. It's a video on how to better understand what to evolve on Kha'Zix. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first we have Blue Smite. This Smite just gives you a lot of movement speed, which to me is one of the most broken stats in League because it can help you get to where you want, help you cut champs or even run away. For Kindred, I usually go this one if games are going to be volatile and the easiest way to tell is by the nature of champions in the game. So for example, if there was any of these champions in the game, don't you think the game might go a bit crazy? Running around to be ready to counter yank or to make the first play might make the difference. That's also because Soul Q is super uncontrolled and everyone is just ego fighting or bored out of their mind, etc. It's just how Soul Q is and what makes it fun. Though for this example, you can also run Green Smite or Red Smite, also depending on your comp. Now Red Smite does damage and it slows. Pretty nice Smite to have for Skirmishing. If you've watched my stream, sometimes I would say some games will be a stat check diff, so you are fighting head on against other champions or compositions, so like hard multiple like number fights, 2v2s, 3v3s, 5v5s, you know. So having this extra damage and the slow are very OP in those spots. Lastly, we got Green Smite. It gives you shield, which is nice if you need to tank more than usual. So I like to run this Smite when my team doesn't draft Engage usually, but you can just run it to run it because of preference. It is consistent jungle pet to have because you just have more effective HP to use for skirmishing, which is nice. I just personally don't run it for solo queue because I like having extra damage or mobility to do my aggressive plays, which Green Smite doesn't help me with. And in a way it can, but I like to have like more damage uh, and like MS. I prefer that over being tankier. Though if I do have the zero engage on my roster, I kind of need to go Green Smite, you know? Small recap on that. So like I said, if you're going to be playing in their face as Kindred, which can happen in some games, I suggest Green Smite, which pair well with Triforce or Cleaver, or even both. Uh, I've talked about a lot where Triforce is a great item in making space. When I say making space, that means frontlining and playing the line of engage. Triforce gives you HP and MS, which helps you do that job. Cleaver, to me, is just a very strong item in my opinion at the moment, ever since the buffs, and it is a good, consistent item to build. You don't need to build like that. Like, you can go full damage. It's completely your preference and your confidence to be able to play more Glass kind of style. Glass kind of style is good to know how to play because it will carry those unlivable type games at times if you perform, and Kindred is a champion where performance matters from the user. And it's a lot more fun than Bruiser, which has been OP for the recent years of Kindred. But now, you know, the fun build is back from Kindred, we are allowed to go crit. Okay, so we're at the minigame. So same drill as before, like the Kha'Zix Evolve Guide. For anyone that is new to this, I basically show both comps and you decide which one, which the like, smite you want to go in this type of game. And I'll give you the answer and also the screenshot of the game I played. So I'll give you guys 10 seconds to think about it. And uh, now look at both drafts. You are red side versus Karthus with these champions on your side. Think about which smite is good for this game carefully. And yeah, I'll give you 10 seconds. And the answer is A, which is green smite. It's a... Uh, you guys have two enchanters and a Nico, and like basically like this whole comp I have on Red Sod is like they're all trying to support me in this game. So starting the fights from my side is very important, and like also like helping my Nico be able to find angles is very good. So them paying attention to me is better for my comp. So Surf and Nico can get a good wombo, and Shen is like able to give me a bigger shield so I can actually like tank more. It's very nice. Like, when you look at enemy comp, you just have a lot of engage with very high damage champions. Like, Pluter champions like Sumiro and Tristan have very high damage with Karthus. And, like, Nolus Cassante are very good uh, chain CC champions. So, 
like I do have to be tankier than usual, so like I just don't get one shots. It, it, it like requires a lot of performance this game, and for my build, I know it looks quite weird, but that's because like I was able to gap the card this early game, so before like his lanes can open, so I was able, so I was very far ahead pretty much. So like you can go tank items just because this new Kraken Slayer. Well, it's not new. This was like one of the old like original passives for the item but like they changed it for split too but like every throw auto you just do so much damage so like back then like you were able to go like kraken slayer with like tie buzz into like randomness rush which was like actually real you can do it pta or conquer um uh, before well, i mean better for, it was better with conquer before but i think with the new pta you're actually quite loud to go with this setup just because you get eight percent extra damage and i like pta more this game in early game helps me like deal with your champs so yeah that's the reason why i like the build looks like that and why i went green smite Okay, now for the second example. You nailed the drill. 10 seconds start now. So the answer is A. This is a great example of what a statue game would look like. Where my is OP here because there is a lot of fighting that will take place and you are always playing with your swing this game. This game, your Swain is your buddy. Both your champions counter the enemy team, and Swain is unkillable with you backing him up. As for the build, I prefer crit here always, just because I have so much setup and frontline, to where if I can get to the 3 item mark, they cannot win. If you prefer on hit, which is completely fine here, I would suggest you go Kraken Cleaver with some Bork type build. The last example, look at the comps, think about what can be the best smite. 10 seconds, go go go. The answer is C. Remember how I talked about earlier in Voltaic games with all chaotic champions? Isn't this a great example? There's a Blitzcrank that leads to Sauna. You have a Braum who wants to like play with you this game. Wandering around the map is quite OP here with your setup. As for build, you can go any build you prefer. I think this game I was testing Cleaver. It was one of the first games of the season. So you can go any build you want this game. If you're confident with crit, you go crit. If you want to just face roll them, go Triforce or Cleaver or even both. Completely chill. Well, that's the end of the video, but before that, one last thing. For any competitive players or Clash gamers, anything like team environment was, Boots Might to me is pointless in competitive as you are making control plays. As we're in solo queue, it's just a complete fiesta at times. Red or green smite, depending on the game, is always good. Green is the safest for sure because you will just be effectively more tankier, but you can also argue the lack of gold rejection you might get from comp the because of the game states can tend to be very slow. Rest my damage can come in handy. That's the end of the video for real now. I hope you have a better understanding of which smite to go on Kindred. If you have any questions or comments on today's content, feel free to leave a comment below or join my Discord, description down below. I'll try to respond to every comment I can. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.